cool. What's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be basically making <clears throat> one of my veg juices that I consume, like the glass of ju uh, the glass of vegetable juice I consume daily. I just like to make like a quick kind of video of me making it. So I got today. I've got my. Uh, let's have a look. If you can, yeah. If you can see, I think you can see, can't you? Um, yeah, basically got some carrots, got some radish, got some celery, and got some spinach. Uh, this should be enough for about kind of two glasses of like 350 mils or so. And uh, yeah, basically, I, I sometimes I just make it fresh per day. This time I'm gonna I'm gonna do make half and put the rest in the fridge. So I have it for tomorrow because. Uh, trying to be as efficient sometimes like and because then you have to wash out the machine etc so basically what I do first of all you can't actually get can't in like my local stores I can't actually find everything organic so I have to buy stuff non-organic having gone to a farm myself where I've actually tried to eat vegetables off and fruit off the conveyor belt where they've told me you can't eat it because they've just sprayed it to make it last long I uh, I've really got into the routine recently of soaking everything I eat, which I haven't grown for at least five ten minutes in some warm water. Uh, I think that's really important. I was really shocked when I went to a farm. I literally, I was going to eat some strawberries out of like the processing packaging of like factory, and the guy's like, "Wait, take this. Don't eat that." Like, I mean. That's really weird. I really didn't expect that. I thought maybe okay, they're gonna be gonna they're gonna be giving maybe some uh, extra vitamins, artificial vitamins into the soil. But it's also non organics also a, a big part of it is uh, is spraying as well, uh, which they don't really tell you about. Uh, but especially with my corns, I'm really I'm really got I'm really careful with everything, and you guys should be too. Uh, bit of a tangent there but I think that's really relevant and that's why I'm soaking them in yeah so basically yeah let's uh, just putting it in there and I'm just gonna let it soak I mean, I think uh, nowadays more than ever, like, there's all these illnesses and stuff, and uh, people have eczema, etc., and people just don't understand why, and I've kind of found food, for instance, is just so overlooked, and we go to medication straight away, so I think you just got to be as smart as possible yourself, and... Just do what really is the common sense, the common, like most, the obvious thing to do, really. And I'm gonna leave this for a bit and then I'm just gonna rinse it and then I'm gonna make my juice. So, see you in a bit. Hi again. Uh, so, basically, I've soaked it and I, I've, uh, I've soaked my, uh, my vegetables and I've just put them through a colander, rinsed the water off. So hopefully it's all going to be good, and I'm just going to be juicing it now. And uh, <clears throat> I also, I'm also filtering like the bits away, because I'm fasting for my guts to have a rest. So I don't want any excess kind of fibre, kind of irritating my guts. So I'm gonna after I juice it, it's going to go into here. Then I'm going to filter it into a pint glass. One pint glass will go into the fridge, and then the rest I'm going to be drinking and uh, sipping on slowly so there you go I'd just like to say most of my juice comes from carrots the leaves aren't as efficient but the stalks are quite they've got quite they're quite succulent but uh, majority of my juice comes from the carrots and then like the radishes more so sometimes I have a few other vegetables but this is more or less what I have which I find which I find really agrees with me and the celery also is quite juicy, but uh, uh, my, my staple really is the carrot, to be fair. 
and I mix up a few leaves occasionally, like different types of leaves like rocket and stuff, but basically here we go. And there's always a bit, there's always a little bit of runoff, so I'm just gonna put this under. So we'll have to clean up afterwards, and just going to filter it. I mean, normally if it wasn't for this fast and me trying to rest my guts. I wouldn't filter, it's always good to get as much fibre in as possible, but uh, there you go, and that's it, thanks, thanks for tuning in, uh, see you next time.